Um, okay, uh, this this page here is just um, to show you a little more about the the chip. This is uh, taken from the data sheet from a National Semiconductor. On the left there, um, you can see the pinouts. Um, starting uh, with pin one, A, B, and C are your uh, serial input and uh, it uses the binary which is connected to the three switches. Um, the next three you can use these um, pins to chain additional 138 uh, chips together um, and then uh, you're, you also see on pin 8 and 16 which is your uh, voltage or 5 volts in this case pin 8 is your ground and then pins 7 and then 9 through 15 are all the outputs which uh, in this case are just going over to the LEDs um, later will be connected to the digital display for the 7 segment piece. Um, on the right side uh, the function table there this um, helps you can kind of follow along um, if you're looking at under the select for the columns C, B, and A. Um, this is telling um, if the switches are low or high, what state they're in, and then um, how, how that will reflect on the output on which pins will be um, high or a 5 volt state or low grounded. Um, okay, this is a, just a quick sketch I did um, kind of represent the schematic uh, that I breadboarded and will be demonstrating. Um, I think it's uh, pretty straightforward. There's not really much to it. Um, eight LEDs. We've got a 100 ohm resistor on the positive side of each LED and uh, for current limiting. Um, then what else we got? Uh, Oh, one thing, fairly simple, but I pulled the um, pins 1, 2, and 3, which represent the select A, B, and C, are pulled low through the resistors 1 through 3, uh, which are the 1K palm resistors, pulled low uh, when you flip a switch, then takes them high. Um, that's about all there is to it. It's... Uh, Pretty darn simple. This here is a circuit, a quick little circuit I threw together uh, to test and better understand the exact functionality of the 7400 series chip, the 74LS138, which is a uh, decoder, demultiplexer, uh, used often with uh, memory um, or uh, digital displays, LED displays. I'm actually going to be hooking this one up to a uh, small LED, uh, four-digit LED display. Um, and because, you know, with using this, I'll only require um, three pins rather than the eight for um, to control each digit. Um, so, uh, what we have here is the chip itself 74LS138. Um, these resistors I'm um, just hooked up with the um, uh, LEDs here. Um, 100 ohm. And then uh, over here we got uh, three 1K uh, resistors to ground. Um, so and then it goes over to uh, banks or registers A, B, and C. Sorry, little helper there. Um, registers A, B, and C, uh, which is pins one, two, and three, and then the rest to the data pins. Um, then uh, this here is just a uh, switch for a four position switch. Um, the fourth one's not used. I'm only using one, two, and three for A, B, and C over here. Um, the voltage coming in, you can see right here, it's uh, five volt, my ground. I'll move this a little bit so that you can see what I've got going. Um, the uh, this is actually plugged right into my programmer 
uh, but there's my microcontroller that I'm using for this project. It's a PIC 18F 4550, um, which is then it's a USB programmer going over to my little notebook here. Um, anyways, that's uh, not significant right now. The only thing I'm using it for is just a voltage supply. Um, there you have it. So, uh, getting back to this here, just to demonstrate it, and I'll try to do this without jiggling it around too much, um, but show you how it works. Starting out uh, with position um, 0 through 7, um, 0 is currently off. And we look at the table that I've included. You can or the logic table. You can see how how this works. Um, so let's see if I can do this here without blocking too much. Currently, um, switches A, B, and C are all off or low. And then starting with the the three digits moving through a binary um, sequence, uh, it will go something like this. Um, this here would be one. You see, it moved over. Now this one is low. Um, and then switching to 2, which is the next one. Um, position 3, I'm going to be here 0, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and then going to 4, which is going to be this too low, this high. I think you can see that. This is now low. And the next one, which moves to here. And six. And finally, seven, which is um, everything but this last one. So, anyways, uh, looks like it works good. And um, this is actually a lot is a lot easier to demonstrate this um, using the microcontroller itself, but I just thought it'd be a little more clear um, using the uh, the switch here. So anyway, uh, take a look. Hopefully, it's uh, beneficial to anybody who can implement this into their projects. And um, like I'll be using as uh, this. Um, to output the voltages on the um, uh, as I monitor um, some battery banks. Okay, and um, yeah, thanks.